Do you need one when graphics card software has capabilities of its own, or when the PS5 and Xbox Series X or S make recording gameplay footage so convenient? Well, in our opinion, a capture card is as essential as it has ever been if you want the best recording quality, and don't want to sacrifice performance or risk dodgy playback. In 2024, some of the best capture cards on the market can natively record in 4K, at 60 frames per second or higher. While this is great, especially if you want to capture that footage for later, just keep in mind that Twitch still doesn't allow for streams in 4K, which is only a bonus for VODs and videos. For PC gamers, one of the best capture cards may not be as necessary, but will really take the strain off of hardware components. Depending on your rig and GPU, recording via software or OBS can mean choppy footage and a slew of other issues, so a separate capture card can alleviate stress. For now, let's tell you about some of the best capture cards on the market. The Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 is a truly next-gen capture card. It takes the great features set down by the Elgato HD60X and boosts what we expect from the best external capture cards into current generation standards. Its design definitely echoes that, since most capture cards don't put a lot of effort into the looks department and yet this does. The Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 has a gentle RGB array on its front that you can sync with your PC components, and a clever horizontal design that helps cable routing to be simple and the product as a whole to be displayable. In terms of features, you get up to 4K60 capture, VRR pass-through of up to 144Hz, HDR and ultra-wide monitor support, and a slew of in-software recording options. Annoyingly, the companion application, RE Central 4, doesn't have any color grading settings and doesn't let you change the captured image settings. Luckily, these things are all finely tuned in the background. This card performs brilliantly when recording footage, and its pass-through lacks no detail compared to using a regular HDMI 2.1 cable. Captures are crystal clear with really vivid colors, and besides some lacking clarity when recording multiple captures back-to-back, -back, it's excellent in making your gameplay look just as good as it does in your setup with minimal technical headaches thrown in. Overall, this is probably the best external capture card you'll find on the shelves at the moment. Elgato has been the go-to name for capture cards for years, and the HD60X is the sum of that experience. An evolution rather than revolution, it builds on the HD60S Plus to deliver an outstanding experience for both capture and pass-through. Offering impressive features with a simple plug-and-play setup, we think the HD60X will likely sit at the top of most creators' best capture card leaderboards. The first mainstream capture card to offer variable refresh rate support for pass-through, our testing proved that the HD60X is the perfect companion for both the PS5 and Xbox Series X. There's 10-bit HDR on offer for both capture and pass-through too, and with latency-free HDMI output, you won't even know you're running your gameplay through a capture device at all. Throughout testing I kept my Series X running through the HD60X, even when just casually gaming, and noticed no impact on picture quality, input responsiveness, or visual performance. The HD60X will capture 4K content at 30 frames per second and 1080 pixels or 1440 pixels content at up to 60 frames per second, while offering 4K 60 frames per second or a whopping 1080 pixel 240 frames per second via HDMI pass-through. Even playing via the preview and OBS responsiveness remain high and all but the most competitive gamers likely won't notice any input delay at all. Elgato does offer their own capture software, the inspiringly named Elgato 4K Capture Utility, but my advice is to stick with OBS. I found recording quality to be noticeably worse using Elgato software with a few frustrating UI bugs along the way too. Ignoring their software offering, we think the Elgato HD60X ticks just about every box and might just be the best external capture card for console gamers and streamers available right now. Elgato is one of the biggest, best-known names in capture, and for good reason, their devices are relatively cheap, easy to use, and function incredibly well. Here's our breakdown of all the Elgato Game Capture deals, covering all devices in the range. The Game Capture HD60S is easy to set up, simply plugging in between your PS4 or Xbox One and the TV. 
It also does all of the work for you, with the software cycling through resolution options until it finds a signal, although you can also set it up and tweak options manually should you have any problems getting a signal on your TV. Another great bonus is that you don't need the software running to use it. As long as it can draw power it'll send a signal to your screen so there's no need to unplug it when you don't want a capture. The capture software that comes with it is clear and easy to use, with a few basic, useful options to fiddle with the audio and streaming setups. There's an audio in on the unit itself if you want to add audio directly to your stream, and a range of streaming screens set up for inset cameras, and so on. The only area in which it disappoints is its rudimentary editing package that's only really good for trimming. The Rode Streamer X promises more than any other capture card on this list because while it's a perfectly capable capture card that can record footage at up to 4K30, it's also an audio interface with all the pedigree of the brand's audio hardware behind it. The design of this capture card is very in line with Rode's other streaming gear, it has customizable smart pads, XLR ports for top drawer microphones, and some handy gain dials that are readable thanks to clear lighting. Conveniently, it has dual PC output and pretty solid HDMI pass-through for varying resolutions, and its price for the combined efforts of an audio interface and capture card will no doubt be enticing for those looking to consolidate their streaming gadgets. Of course, with a jack of all trades, there's going to be some trade-offs for those looking for the best capture card out there. Strangely, there's no HDMI 2.1 support, so while captures of up to 4K30 are possible and a pass-through of up to 4K60 is supported, higher frame rates aren't going to be possible above 1080 pixels. Luckily, VRR and HDR are there here's hoping Rode puts out a sequel in time that can deal with some beefier visual capture. As an audio interface, it's no surprise that this does the trick. Rode is excellent for audio gear, and in our review, we found it to be almost as solid as the BACN might create, although it was somewhat hampered by its small form factor and lack of more dials. HDMI gain control would have been really handy, but again, when you go for something aimed at consolidating two gadgets into one, there are going to be some compromises. Nonetheless, this is a very capable capture card and one that adds a bit more utility than is typically expected. Another entry into the best capture card market for Vermedia, the GC551 G2 Live Gamer Extreme 3 brings variable refresh rate support to the party. With 4K30 capture and 4K60 HDR pass-through, the spec sheet is pretty attractive for console gamers. It's also one of the more reasonably priced options at this end of the market, at $169.99 it's nearly 20% cheaper than our top-ranked Elgato HD60X. Wonderfully simple to get started with, the Live Gamer Extreme 3 is a plug-and-play option with next to no setup required. Offering latency-free HDMI pass-through in full 4K60 with HDR support you won't even notice the card is between your console and TV. Though be aware, unlike other cards the LG E3 will only capture SDR content. On the recording side, there's support for up to 4K30 with super smooth 120 frames per second capture at lower resolutions. Variable refresh rate support is new to the Avermedia range and it works well. In testing I noticed no artifacts or screen tearing while gaming, even at higher frame rates and the experience was smooth throughout. While it's not the most powerful capture option available, the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 3 boasts an impressive spec sheet and generally performs well across the board. If capturing HDR content isn't a concern or you're not looking to push the limit with the highest resolution game capture the LG E3 is a great value pick and won't let you down. So that's our top 5 capture cards of the moment. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.